are back now at the fifth round of the Battle of the Sexes and I am delighted to have next to me Grandmaster Jansaya Abdumalik and Grandmaster Ravi Haria. Uh, you had a very interesting game. Uh, what, are, uh, what are your impressions? What are your feelings about it? Uh, how, how did it go? Until which point was your preparation? <laughs> Until move one, I guess. <laughs> oh, really? Actually, yeah. I mean, I mean, his main line is is French defense, so I was preparing only e6, and I was kind of surprised when he played e5. So I thought, like, okay. I mean, usually I play Italian or the Rui Lopez, and this time I was like, okay, I should surprise him, and I played Scotch. <laughs> yeah, just just to try it. I mean. Kind of had no idea what's happening after knight of six. So, do you ever play the e5 move? Is it also in your repertoire, or was it prepared just for today? No, I've played it before. Um, oh, right. I guess you saw that I've played it a few times, yeah. But yeah, okay, I played but I like 99% really of the against. time. I'm playing French. Yeah, yeah but af after scotch, I didn't know what was your line. I mean, oh I, yeah, because no one's ever played scotch against me. Yeah. yeah. So I thought like, okay, yeah. maybe if bishop c5, it's fine. Bishop b4, fine. But knight yeah. f6 yeah. is kind of. Yeah. yeah, I checked knight of six before the game, oh, really? um, but not so much compared to Italian and Spanish. Uh, but it's pretty bad because after you played knight d2, I just forgot everything. All right, so, so after knight f6, <laughs> yeah. knight takes c6, b takes c6. If I followed now, queen e7, queen e2, knight d5, c4, knight b6, and here is the moment you were talking about, knight to d2. Yeah. Uh, is it a move uh, that you prepared at some point or remembered slightly or...? No, I mean, uh, okay, I just remember some general stuff in Scotch, but not like like the, 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 the right theory. So <laughs> I thought like, okay, let's try knight d2. <laughs> no, I mean, I was thinking of b3 or knight c3, but I thought after b3 he will play this a5. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's probably it's fine for white, but I didn't want to check this, so I just I just played 92. All right. Yeah. And you are surprised by this move, right? Yeah, it's a bit annoying because I checked knight c3 and b3 mm -hmm. and I didn't check knight d2, so <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, it's probably in my file and I probably did check it, but I just forgot because there was a lot to check. Um, <laughs> yeah. And she played it quickly, so I assume that it was some like... Sort of preparation, yeah, right? Yeah, or like just a main line. Because yeah. it probably could be. Yeah. Because I just don't play this ever. Yeah, so. I was kind of <laughs> trying to pretend that you know I'm just controlling the situation. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, later you chose a five. Yeah, I, I don't. This is either a move or it's just really stupid because it makes sense if you play b three. It kind of makes sense against knight c three, but maybe it just. Again, I don't know. Like I'm really clueless in this position, so. Yeah. Oh wow, Jean uh, Saya, what what were you thinking after his a5? No, yeah, I thought that it's kind of strange because I didn't play b3, so. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I, like, I I prepared a5 against knight c3. Oh okay, well I don't know. I think white may be slightly better. Um, Mm -hmm. I yep. thought it was Could okay be, yeah. for me. I don't know. So <laughs> queen e4 you chose, uh, then queen e6 followed. We were trying to make some sort of d5 work here, uh, but I guess you still wanted to keep the queens on board. Yeah, right? I wasn't sure because okay, the only things I know about this position is either I can lose really quickly if I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> or that like a lot of end games are just better for white. Mm -hmm. And again, I was just I was just trying not to lose. Really, <laughs> it sounds bad. Oh, like already wow. we moved ten. But yeah, yeah, it's just like, it's probably one of the worst openings you can be clueless in. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting <laughs> to see you both, you know, uh, somehow playing at the board mostly. But it was an interesting fight, so let's have a look. Uh, please stop me when you think was the next critical moment, Queen E6. Is Queen E6 like, mm -hmm. I yeah, played it and then I thought E6. it doesn't really make any sense. Um, but maybe it's fine. Yeah, I thought that. Also, I mean, like, why to play queen e6? What's, yeah. what's the idea? Because I played it, because I've seen this move a lot in Scotch positions. Yeah, and but I mean... I assumed that it would help okay. with f5 or d5. But then after you played bishop d3, I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted yeah. to make a short castle and then f4 somewhere trying to, to push. And I mean, actually, I wanted to play f4 even before you played queen e6. I mm. mean, that's the idea. But after queen e6, I think it's just... I mean, it was just the temple of f5. I mean, I'm just attacking your queen, and I yeah. so... Yeah. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was, thinking I was about happy, um, actually, after you played queen a6. Yeah. Because here my idea was to play g6, bishop g7. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and, but uh, it actually what looks really like? scary. Like if mm. she just castles, mm -hmm. bishop g7. I mean, you don't even have to defend e5 if you don't want to. Like queen h4, maybe? No, I, I mean, after g6, I think the, the black squares are kind of weak. I don't know. I think it's very comfortable for white. Maybe just yeah. Maybe still, a, a f4? still a four, yeah. Yeah, and probably a four. And then nine f three. Yeah. I don't know. It what's just looked what's horrible, what's to be honest. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you played bishop a six instead, and actually, I was also um, quite <coughs> happy about white's position in in this game so far. Yeah. I thought you would be better, but I don't know where it went wrong, if it did at all because we are also not using engines, so we are not uh, entirely sure. Yeah, well, maybe here I, I made a castle and then I I just kind of missed f5. Mm -hmm. Because after f5, like I can't take on f5 or play f6 because the pawn on c4 is hanging, so... Right. Yeah, so maybe first I should play b3. Uh, yeah, just... just um, instead of castle. Instead of castle, yes, just to protect the pawn on c4 and then just... I think just castle f4. I mean, everything is just coming very, yeah. very, very comfortable for white. So, yeah, after I play this castle f5, f5 was yeah indeed a very interesting resource. Oh, I have to play it. I mean, yeah. What else? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, queen so e2. Yeah, queen you e2. Played. Um, and g6 now. Yeah, after g6, I thought, okay, b3, like, what happened in, yeah, in the game? And then bishop g7, I was checking bishop a3. Yeah, maybe I can play... Um, d6, yeah. and then c5. d6, c5. Yeah, that was the line oh, that I, was, I was checking. Bishop d3, queen takes. Um, you take on c5, I take with bishop, you must play king f7. And I wasn't sure about this position. Like, I wanted to play knight f3, but I don't know. If you just make Trying some to fork, yeah. yeah, just just h six maybe. I mean, still, it's it's kind of not not easy to to find a plan. I think for white because you just play rook h d eight and then you have the square on d five. Yeah, right. Uh, it looks uh, it definitely looks interesting. But what you played in the game uh, also looked fine, right? F four or. Didn't you like it later? No, 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 it was fine, but I was just thinking of mm -hmm. bishop a3. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, what did you have in mind uh, after bishop a3? Were you afraid of this one? Or yeah, I mean, initially I was, um, like, because I hesitated before playing bishop g7, because mm -hmm. I saw bishop a3. I didn't know what to do. Because um, initially I was thinking, instead of, uh, oh no, it's my move. I was thinking here, king f7, maybe. Ah, but then knight f3, h6. It looks, I don't really want to play h6 because it's like, at some point she will play g4 probably. And or h4, h5, yeah. yeah. And it looks really dodgy. Um, and then, <laughs> so then I was thinking, okay, I don't, want, I don't want this to happen. And I can't castle queenside instead of king f7 because she has c5. Uh, wait, here. Yeah, if yeah I, castle I was queenside actually waiting kind of earlier. C5 is strong. Yeah, every, everywhere so then just c5. I was thinking to play king d8 instead of castle queenside. Oh, really? Yeah, what, yeah. King d8? Yeah, because... I mean, it's not so stupid, I don't think. Um, okay, I mean, <laughs> then I should have tried, you know, bishop a3. <laughs> no, no, but, but, then, but then, I saw, then I saw d6 wasn't so bad. Um, yeah. And then I was like, okay, I have to play d6. Um, yeah, king d8 is prob <laughs> probably you're doing very well. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably the best of all the king moves. Like, I can't go king f7 or castle queen side, so. Yeah, but still, I mean, I mean, if after d6 I don't have anything, then it's just fine for you. Yeah, I didn't actually look at c5 after d6. I just looked at, uh, I just had to check that e takes d6 wasn't strong for you, but it's not. Like, I can take on e2 and take on a1, it's fine. Yeah, you yeah. just take and there is not enough of compensation, I yeah. guess. All right, so it seems like it was one of the m critical moments of the game, this bishop a3. Uh, instead, you played f4. Yeah, just now castle, knight f3. Yeah, I was a bit surprised because you were playing quite quickly here. And I thought maybe, like, Okay, I thought that was just some easy moves, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like a must play knight of three and then a4, <laughs> just... Yeah, sure. Yeah, may maybe you're right. No, like knight of three is probably fine. And yeah, yeah, knight of three was fine. I was checking maybe you'll play h6. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> no, no chance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah c5. Um, yeah, I didn't actually see a4 at all. And then you played and I was like, that's probably quite a good move. Yeah, a4, yeah. I, th yeah, I was quite happy with a4, but after you played bishop b7, I think bishop a3 was really stupid because, I mean, 
black ones play d6 anyway and why I'm playing this bishop a3 I'm just I'm just losing a tempo and my bishop is kind of yeah strange I think better was just to play bishop b2 and you know to prepare for this idea with d6 rook e8 and 97 yeah but how do you even like I thought that I'll, I'll go kind like uh, rook a e1 and then queen f2 maybe like d6 here rook a1 Rook f8. Rook f8 and queen f2. This is what I wanted, actually. And but maybe here you can even take, right? On f3. Yeah, I didn't like that you can take on f3 with, I mean, with bishop and then... And then queen takes? Yeah, queen takes. Uh, maybe you can... Oh, here is fine, right? I mean, if you take on e5, I would just uh, take with the bishop. Mm -hmm. And if... Yeah, that's just better for me, of course. Uh, if you play knight d7, then maybe I is have... Is this so good for you? Bishop takes, bishop takes, e5. Yeah, I think so, of course. Rook what are you five? taking? Rook e5, yeah. queen d6? And then, I don't know... Um, yeah, I believe... Uh, I, mean I also thought that white one? was better, but I was not sure about that bishop on d3, because yeah. it looks uh, <laughs> a bit uh, mm, strange, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you should always check these ideas of taking an f5 somewhere, maybe? Or G4, yeah, I don't know. Right. I was gonna say King F7 here, but maybe, maybe you can take on F5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. just immediately take on. That would be very interesting to see these sort of lines on the board. <laughs> probably I can take on E5 here. Rook takes E5. Bishop, uh, pawn takes. Queen D4. King H1. And take F5. Uh, queen takes. King E7. I mean, e7. I okay, where? Maybe. Well, also the g file is. Possible. Well, okay, I always have a draw. <laughs> I mean, I can just. just yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, but maybe I can also play something like rook f1 after king g8. Rook f1, right. Why not to try? I don't know. Knight d7? Oh, no, yeah, it's probably okay. Knight e7, e6? Wow, rook, what, a rook what a position <laughs> oh. we have gone. I think already 10 <laughs> yeah, moves sorry. here into the, <laughs> <laughs> into the line. Yeah, okay, okay, we can go back. So so good to look at, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's definitely not stupid. I'm uh, very happy to listen to all these lines which you've uh, checked during the game. But uh, you've played bishop a3, yeah. Uh, you said you disliked this one. And yeah. after d6, yeah, were you starting to get worried about the position or were you confident it's all right? Yeah, after I think I played rook e1, uh, he played rook e8, and here I just, I mean, I realized that after bishop f3, maybe maybe my pawn on e5 is just weak. I don't know. I mean, even if I have two bishops, my, my bishop on d3 is not that strong, I guess. And yeah, I was worried that he'll take on f3. So I played bishop b2, I think it was the only move to protect mm -hmm. the pawn. Right. Um, knight e7. Yeah, and here I didn't know what to do. I mean, like, I can't take on d6 because he'll just take on e2 and then my bishop on b2 is just hanging. Right. Yes, yeah, so so I played bishop c3. I mean, I was just waiting for his move, I guess. And I was I was actually worried about bishop f3 here. Did you consider this one? Yeah, rook takes f3. Yeah, rook takes f3 and then uh, takes on e5. And f takes. F takes and, I mean, you're not in a hurry, so I thought like maybe you can just play rook e7 and, and like prepare this, take it on e5. And I didn't know, I mean like, maybe I can try something like, I don't know, rook e3. Rook e8, I suppose, right? But also a5 hangs always, yeah? Yeah, but after you take on e5, I mean, with maybe with bishop, then I, I can't play because bishop d4 is always coming or bishop h2, I don't know. So if you go, instead of rook e3, yeah. if you play king h1. Ah, you just want to get ready so I mean, that no bishop d4 won't happen. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but maybe you can play queen b6-7 first. Um, I, should, I should play bishop c2 maybe. And then play rook e8. I mean, maybe, maybe it was fine, but okay, that's what I... You were worried I, yeah. about this one, right? Because after you take on e5, I was like, okay, just equal. Maybe I'm a bit better. Did you consider also f takes e5? Because that was somehow my uh, way of 
Yes, I but I mean, I didn't like this idea with um, Bishop F3 taking, so of course, mm -hmm. I mean, I was just... Ah, that's why you wanted Because now yeah. I can actually choose back. whenever I want to take yeah. F3. Yeah, and, and it's kind of annoying, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yes. All right, so 90 f 95, uh, you took here, right? Yeah, I was thinking of taking with bishop or, or pawn. I think pawn is better because after it takes bishops, I mean, you change and you have this d4 square. Yeah, maybe, maybe black are more active. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Now rook d8, d8 rook d4. d4. Yeah, yeah so I thought I this like was... Okay, I wasn't worse here, so... Yeah. Yeah. So I'll um, take with pawn. Takes queen b6, bishop c2, rook a to d8. Yeah, and here when I played bishop c2, I was thinking of rook a d8, and my move was rook d1. I was, I was thinking of rook d1. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I thought that if I'll change one rooks, then I have like chances to like better endgame just, um, and my pawn on e5 will be will not be that weak, I guess. And but here I was thinking of rook d1 takes, like I should take with rook, yeah, and then queen c6. So now black wants to take on e5 because on g2 is yeah, it's just a mate. So I was thinking of rook d5. But I thought he would just play queen b6. <laughs> 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 it's just a draw. So I was like, OK, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I wanted to try, so <laughs> I played queen f2. So you felt that yeah. you were uh, somehow playing uh, for, for, for yeah, a so chance that to win. Yes. But, but so I was I. Because after rook d1, yes, I, but he I, did, I, I mean, wanted he to play rook d4. Yeah, he rook wanted d4. to play rook d4. Yeah. Oh, that would have been really Yeah, I was really hoping you'd play rook d1. <laughs> 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 yeah, of course. I mean, I didn't check rook d4. I think it's I think it's not enough of conversation. I don't know. So after bishop takes, yeah, yeah? C takes. takes and yeah, I think maybe c5 immediately. Queen takes. Queen c4. No, I. No, then yeah. Queen yeah. Takes. <laughs> so maybe queen f2. Yeah. Um, so I have a choice here, because I can play c5. Or. Yeah, maybe c5 is fine. So you're basically saying that you want to play against this bishop on c2, right? Yeah, I mean, it's an exchange and a pawn, and I have two bishops, and I have the dark squares. I think I can't be worse here. No <laughs> chance. Like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's leave it. I, thought I, was think like I think I'll try to play rook d1 and then bishop d1. But your b3 pawn always hangs. Okay, I mean... Okay, rook d1, your move? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I would, like rook takes e5, for example. Oh, you, right. you you want to even take with rook, but okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll just take rook takes. Uh, yeah, but... And then something like rook e1. Queen d6. Mm -hmm. Well, it would have been all, I'm sure, really interesting, and we would love to see that one also on the board, but you decided to play queen f2 <laughs> instead of rook d1, not allowing yes. this rook d4. Yeah. Luckily or not, who knows? <laughs> and after queen f2, uh, all right, uh, rook e7 followed. So you looked at rook d4 here. It says in the variations on the thing. Uh, no, no, oh, we, you didn't? We, oh. we didn't, oh we right. didn't oh, okay. uh, actually have the position in this moment oh, right. on the screen. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, so rookie yeah. two, rookie eight, rookie one. Yeah, I was really surprised when he played bishop e4. I don't know, I didn't check this move. I mean here. Yeah, I exactly. really, yeah. well, I didn't have many, much time at all, but... Um, I, I yeah, I played play it and then I was like, this, this is a really bad move. Oh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's fine. No, but I think it's just just equal. No, I think it's just yeah. Every, everything it just, just seems changed. a bit like. But okay, you thought no that you're better, right? Yeah, yeah I, I thought so. after bishop before I should like be winning her queen side pawns, but then I realized she's also, she's actually just taking all of mine too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but here I think I, I missed after bishop a5. You could you could play bishop e5. Um, and after queen c5, you have this move, bishop d4. And I was like, oh my god. Wait, what? Oh my god. Yeah, and then queen v1 is coming. Oh, I missed this. I thought and it's I just thought a mate. I mean, yes, it's always just a mate. So, <laughs> so what are you doing Sorry, after guys, b5? I'm not following. I don't this know. One. <laughs> what happens after Bro. queen takes d4? Uh, rook takes e4. Rook takes e4, and then queen b1. Oh, queen b1. Yes. <laughs> oh, I missed queen oh, b1. That's, that's a nice double attack. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> you say rook e5. I was like, okay. <laughs> No, okay, I mean, it's not like I must play bishop, I mean, queen c5, right? I thought that maybe I'll just go queen h, king h1. But still you have, I think, you have this move. Bishop but bishop d4, d4 is strong now. 
Yeah, I'll take yeah. on e7. You take c7? You take, and I go queen. No, 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 take no, on no e7. Oh, e7. sorry. Yeah. Uh, and then queen f1. Yeah. Maybe it's still equal, because you take, mm -hmm. take, and then... Or maybe rook f... S no, rook f7, I'll just go queen e2. But you can take on a4. Queen d3? But, like, you can oh, take... No, I cannot. <laughs> that would be <laughs> that nice if nice the bishop try. from a5 <laughs> wouldn't yeah. be defending the rook, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I All think. right. Oh, because, yeah, after bishop e5, yeah, because originally I thought bishop e5 was really strong. But here maybe you can take just rook e1 and then take on a4 or c4 and then take on a4 and you're kind of pawn up. Yeah, I don't really know how much that is, though. Queen e1, yeah, I guess, too. no? Well, bishop, bishop oh, e1 oh, oh, just bishop e1, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, okay, you just take on a4. You're still, like, maybe not enough, but, okay, I still kind of play. Yeah. Um, but instead of uh, bishop takes a5. In the beginning, here. Yeah. Uh, so go back one move. Uh, um, there was queen d2 move. You have queen but d2. But queen yeah. d2, you, you can play c6. I didn't like mm. c6. Yeah, I was going to play c6. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, it was the same idea. Because here, I mean, if I take on a5, you take bishop e5. And I, and I wasn't sure because I didn't like, I mean, your your bishop is strong after bishop d4 just, just coming. And now, you, yeah, you don't have any. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like, okay, just let's try queen c5 yeah and i don't know i mean maybe maybe bishop e5 was just just very strong after queen c5 mm -hmm. all right so uh, you feel like it was mm -hmm. a better try for uh, for ravi to to play for an advantage right mm, yeah i think so yeah because after rook e5 it's just everything is just changing all right, so here, uh, yeah, you traded and uh, agreed uh, to a draw. Yeah. So a very interesting game. Uh, how, uh, how did you feel before today's game? Uh, did you think uh, you are going to try for, for a win? And the question goes for both of you, of course. Were you ambitious? Did you want a solid game? What was, uh, what was no, your actually approach? actually, I prepared very good for the French, you know. I was waiting for French, and when he played E5, I was like, come on, I mean. <laughs> I was checking, like, for two hours, and I had, like, really strong lines there. <laughs> okay, he played E5, yeah, kind of sad. <laughs> All right. What about you? Yeah, I mean... I was just gonna play and see. Um, because you had yeah. quite a, quite a big advantage yesterday, which you let sleep. Yep. And uh, <laughs> did it somehow uh, uh, impact the way you were playing? And today? no, I, it would have been stupid to like be careless and reckless. And I just, I, I mean, I kept telling myself like, because um, yeah, yesterday I, it was it should have been easy, um, and. I just told myself, like, okay, it's another day. You're playing black against a strong player. Just relax. Like, if if I got chances, I would go for it. But um, I wasn't gonna do anything crazy. Also, it's only round five. There's still five more rounds left. But all right. So uh, looking uh, at the situation in the match, what are your thoughts on it? Again, question for both of you, Zansaya. Uh, you mean like today's today's day? Oh uh, no, like all together. Oh, today um, also, if you have some thoughts, sure. Well, yeah, okay, first two days was very good for the women's team, and then boys, they kind of, <laughs> 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 they, they struck back. But, okay, I mean, we're, we're still fighting, and I think the, the, the most important matches are just coming. So, yeah. Right. What, what's happening in the match right now? Uh, well, actually, I believe we had a few results, and uh, the ladies are up one point. Nino won against Julian, and I believe Jovanka had also a very good position against Hussein. Uh, but we are going to uh, get back to it uh, in a bit. Just wanted to ask you the last question before letting, uh, letting you go. Uh, if you could use one word to describe your today's opponent, Ravi, what would it be? Oh, my God. Um, I don't know. That was kind of surprising. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think hard think because it's coming to you as I well. That's probably the worst question you could have asked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're avoiding, you're avoiding an answer? What? I mean, I don't know how to describe. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I mean, this is a really tough question. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. It's easier to play the game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I will leave then. You Maybe you want to play another game then, instead of using words <laughs> to describe. <laughs> and we will uh, be back after a very short break. Uh, be right back. Mm -hmm. 